I actually moved here from Manitoba to take the fiber program at the Kootenai School of Art. And I came here as a seamstress, so that was initially the draw to heighten my sewing skills, but I got a whole lot more for the, in the bargain. I graduated KSA in 2012. I've only really identified as an artist since uh, graduating from KSA. Welcome to my workroom. This is my studio. Part of my work is as a seamstress. I do alterations and custom sewing projects. Um, so this is where that magic happens. <laughs> it's a chaotic world, but a beautiful one. Why'd you have to be so beautiful? I fell in love with sewing because it offered me a way not to look like everyone else. It was a tool with which I could create my own sense of identity. You have to be so beautiful? What I really like to do is art projects involving found and recycled materials. The title of my piece is Notes of Nelson. It's been in my mind since school. There's two elements to this project. One is the coat, and I'm building it out of um, paper notes that I've found on the streets of Nelson over the past three years. Practically speaking, it needs to sit on something. So I needed to build a, a structure to hold this coat. And so that's where the metal work comes in. I've never really sculpted with metal before, and I just kind of went with it. It's just kind of wrapped around nothing, really. It's just a hollow form, wire structure. I love it. And just using all of my own dimensions as a guide. So she's kneeling down, and she's got um, one hand outstretched, and she's finding a note. This is just the coolest thing. I just get, I just, I turn into a kid whenever there's a, I'm actually working on a loom. I'm just so excited. <laughs> because my woman is quite see-through. She doesn't have much flesh on her. So I'm just gonna weave these ribbons just as another texture to throw into her form. This is one of the steps of the coat process. And so from this, I've built my pattern pieces. You know, so I have a paper pattern version of this whole thing. The next step was I made a paper prototype. This is the back, so some little button details. I'm gonna put this on the metal figure just so I can see how it looks. Because paper lays very differently from fabric. It's stiffer, it has more of a, a plane. It doesn't have a drape. So I counted this morning and I think I have over, over 600 notes. So now, after I'm collecting these notes, step two is cleaning them. So it's just water. I just want to lift off some of the dirt. And then we dry it out and flatten it. So it's ready to be sewn now. And I take each note and I sew it down onto a cotton backing just to give it some more structure. <laughs> Now, I'm gonna sew these together. This is the whole point of this project. <laughs> so I can sew. From these pieces, I will be sewn into an actual coat using the pattern pieces that I have. The biggest challenge in this project is um, knowing that it's gonna sit outside for a year and I'm doing it out of paper. <laughs> I'm gonna be dousing the whole thing in a million layers of epoxy. I have been so touched by the notes that I found on the street. Sometimes how they're written or what they say are just really a reflection of the community that I live in. What I hope people take away from this project is just um, the interconnectedness of our community and what we all have in common.